screen recording and moving box now. Okay, so this video is for anybody who's got a bunch of movies on an external hard drive or even a bunch of DVDs and you want to organize them nicely and put them into iTunes so that you can stream your movies to your Apple TV or send them to your devices like iPads and iPhones or whatever. Now, some people are under the misconception that you can only handle your movies on your Apple TV if you've got a big uh, or any movies that are purchased off iTunes Store. However, we know that is not the case. You don't have to purchase movies off iTunes Store in order to use them on your, app, uh, your, your devices or uh, Apple TV. And I'll show you how if you don't already know how. So, at the moment in my iTunes, I've got uh, no movies in here. And I'll show you how to get some in there. And I'll show you what happens and the best way to do it. So, first of all, let's get uh, this out here. See, I've got this folder, Add to iTunes. So, where does that come from? You go to where your iTunes folder is in my computer. I've got it in my second hard drive. And you go into iTunes and go into iTunes and go into iTunes Music. And inside the iTunes Music folder, we will find this automatically add to iTunes folder. Let's see, where is it? Uh, there it is, automatically add to iTunes. How do I get it out of here and to there? Well, I right click it and click make alias the alias will be made inside this same folder which I will then drag out to my desktop okay now that you've done that you have a quick way to put your movies into iTunes so first how to get your movies into a format which will then be usable in iTunes okay so iTunes handy old iTunes only uses mp4 or m4v or something like that usually with the numbers with the, with the designation m something 4 or m4 something so the best program to use to get your movies into that format is handbrake okay so i've already downloaded handbrake just go to handbrake.fr if you don't have it and get it it's free and it's the best program if you Google how to do anything on a Mac about converting videos or even ripping DVDs into a file on your computer, everybody always suggests Handbrake. So go ahead and get that if you haven't got it already. Sorry for talking so much. Let's move on. So let's open up Handbrake. Okay, now how do you use Handbrake? You go to Source and you select the movie from wherever you've got all your movies stored. Okay, so here I have one. Uh, I have movies in my other hard drive on the network. Let's go in there. No, stop, idiot. Ah, source, let's try that again. I hate double clicking and telling Handbrake to scan the whole folder. Movies. Let's, oh, I did it again. Damn you. Okay, here's a bunch which are not in M4V yet. They're in other formats okay now let's look at let's just choose one for handbrake and we will convert it it's ready to go so now we can type in here or select where we want it to be saved don't uh, don't don't select it to go straight into the automatically add to iTunes folder just yet because uh, that just doesn't really work so well. So, so the best thing to do is select a folder which is on the same hard drive as your iTunes library. I'll tell you why soon. So my iTunes library is on my, uh, my other hard drive. So let's select a folder that's on that same hard drive, uh, which is in here, 500 and movies. And I can put my newly newly converted movie, which will be called Tangled MP4, into my movies folder, which currently has nothing in it. So let's put it in there, and we click Start. Okay, now, Handbrake will begin, and soon it will tell me how long it's gonna take to do that. Here we go, estimated 42 minutes to convert that movie. So that's great, we'll just let it go. Now, once that is done, <clears throat> convert of Tangled is finished. We'll go to that folder 
and it is in the movies folder tangled let's move tangled into add to itunes it disappears out of this folder because they're on the same hard drive that's why converting the movie into a folder on the same hard drive as your itunes movie automatically add library is good because you don't end up with duplicates you don't end up having to delete them and forget to empty the trash for ages whatever so now let's look at itunes and we'll go through this step so where did our movie go all automatically added or even manually drag and drop movies into itunes go into home movies here it is tangled now what if you don't want all your movies in home movies because they're not home movies they're real movies let's go through the steps of how to do this so you right click and get info okay now we have in here all your information so this is where we're going to start organizing our movies if you've got hundreds of movies you're going to want to do this so put them in a genre this is an animated movie uh, so animation I don't have animation yet let's make it animation right and year it doesn't matter artwork we want to give this uh, movie a nice a nice poster to see like it's a real movie bought off iTunes so how do we do that let's go to movie posters on Google okay let's just search for the one we want what is it tangled tangled movie poster Select the one you want. Doesn't have to be too high def because it's just an icon in iTunes. Here's one we'll use. Save to downloads. Go back to iTunes. Click add artwork. Select downloads. Find the one you just got and click open. There it is. Now the next thing you want to do to get it out of home movies is go to options and make it a movie. Now sorting is good only if, as far as I know, only if you have multiple movies like uh, trilogies which don't all have the same name with a number afterwards like uh, Godfather 1, Godfather 2, Godfather 3, that kind of thing. If they've all got the same name and a number afterwards you don't have to do this but if they all have their own unique name in a set of movies you want to give them the name and a number in this box sort as the title will be whatever the title is but because you want them to be in the right order grouped together uh, from the first movie to the last movie here is where you will add that detail for example uh, Transformers they all have their own names and if you don't want to name them all Transformers 1, Transformers 2 you give them their real name in the title box and then you'll sort them by Transformers 1, Transformers 2, Transformers 3, then they'll all be grouped in the correct order. I hope you follow me there. So now let's click, click, OK. Done. Now, Home Movies, there's nothing here. Let's go to Real Movies. There it is, Tangled. And if we have a lot of movies, we can go to Genres, and you'll see all your different genres here, and you can look at your movies grouped into genres. Perfect. It's that easy. Now, is there anything else you need to see? Um, I don't think so. I think you should be right from, from there. Yep, I reckon that's about it. So you wanna get your movies from wherever you get them, use Handbrake to convert them, or rip them off a DVD. Another cool thing you can do with, uh, with this, sometimes the movies you get uh, they have subtitles which they play fine with if you're playing them with uh, VLC which I used to do all the time but now that I'm putting them into iTunes I uh, convert the movie file into MP4 and put it into iTunes but what happens to that SRT file that comes with it when you download it uh, that's the SRT file that's the subtitles well what you can do if you have your movie in a folder and subtitles are in there with the, f with the movie in that folder once you load the movie into Handbrake, you select it and you add it, for example, this one. 
Tintin, right? Tintin is a movie and it has subtitles. So if I watch that with VLC, uh, where is it? Uh, I not, yeah. Anyway, I'll get the subtitles and I can turn them on and off with the S key on my keyboard. But that SRT file is not carried through to the converted movie, which you'll put into iTunes, unless you select subtitles. Then you go to track over here and you click add external SRT. When you do that, you'll then have to locate that SRT file, which just assuming that I've already loaded this movie into Handbrake ready to convert. Now I come here, click that, click that, come here. Uh, now I will click that, double click it, uh, just click open. Now I can select if I want these subtitles, forced only, burnt in permanently on the screen, default. Uh, just leave it. I usually just put it in like that and leave it. And then uh, I believe when you're watching the movie uh, through Apple TV, you hold the center select button in for a few seconds and uh, you'll get a subtitles menu and you can turn these subtitles on or off. If you click default, perhaps they come on automatically and you don't have to do that. I haven't tried. So that's it for now. I think that's all the tips I've got.